What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Soulful, Soulful Side Game, and we are back bringing you guys another NBA 2K20 My Career Highlight video. So, guys, I do apologize. I have been super busy, and like when I mean super busy, work has been keeping me busy. They got me training for a new position, so I've been in training for a week, and then previously that you have Fourth of July. I've been a lot really busy with some of my let's plays because I started a new let's play for Spider-Man over on our Twitch channel. So if you guys haven't had the chance, go check us out over on Twitch. We do stream live Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays between the hours of 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. So you can always catch us playing games live over there on our Twitch channel. Right now we're trying to focus a little bit less on the Division 2. And we're trying to focus a little bit more on doing some of these let's plays and getting some of them done. I do want to finish RDR2. I know you guys are like, when are you going to finish RDR2? So, yeah, that is definitely coming. But right now, I did want to go ahead and drop a quick uh, NBA 2K20 video. I have been playing quite a bit of it uh, during the week. So I actually have a bunch of videos that I have to like edit up and get ready to go out for 2K20. I literally have gotten all the way to the point where I'm all the way to All-Star Weekend. I just have yet to play the All-Star game. And being that the uh, NBA is about to come back in the next couple of weeks with the new bubble situation, you know, I kind of want to get that done so we can get to the playoffs. I might even just skip all the way to the playoffs because I know my team is gonna make it to the playoffs without no guarantee. You know what I'm saying with no problems. But basically, the number one team in the NBA in my career save. So yeah. <clears throat> so I just wanted to give you guys a little an idea of what's going on, what we've been messing around with. Definitely hope you guys do enjoy my highlights video. This one is against the Orlando Magic. And I'm just going to say it again, man. We we are like a alley-oop fiend, okay? I don't mean to say it in that way, but if I get an opportunity to, to catch the lob, I'm going up to catch the lob. And you will see I do it a lot in my gameplay. I definitely either am throwing the lob or I'm definitely trying to catch the lob. And there's a lot of times where you guys don't even see it because I cut it out where I've had the, the teammate throw me the lob and the other team just swats the ball away because that's how many times I've thrown it to myself to try and get the lob. You know what I'm saying? We all know, you know, alley-oops get you more uh, XP points. Uh, teardrops get you more XP points. So, you know, I'd be trying to do all the little stuff that can get me those little XP points. I still have yet to max out my character and I'm absolutely sure we will not get to do that this season i'm definitely going to try and focus more when nba 2k 21 comes out on a lot of that stuff so definitely look out for that i haven't pre-ordered it yet because i don't know if i want to pre-order it yet i do want the the kobe copy i absolutely will be buying the legendary edition the kobe copy because i mean come on Everybody basically should just go out and get the Kobe copy. You know what I'm saying? Just out of respect for the man and, you know, the tragedy of him, of us losing him so so early, it's kind of sad. But, you know, you, know, you want to definitely show love. So I will definitely be getting the Kobe copy. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've been working pretty hard. We're actually getting better and more comfortable with our jump shot. So we've been working on that. Um, like I was saying, you know, we're definitely going to try and get that Kobe copy. So that way we can have that for the new 2K21. I just don't know when I'm going to get it just yet. Uh, to me, the game coming out in September kind of feels weird being the fact that the new season is not going to actually start until like December. With the new, you know, the whole bubble playoff situation for this season actually that's a good question i want to ask you guys this in your honest opinion do you honestly feel it's worth the nba coming back this late in the season or do you guys kind of feel that maybe they should just go ahead and just 
do it like the lockout season and just start over fresh in September with a new season like they normally would you know what I'm saying preseason you know what I'm saying get the the new people that are coming in from college or wherever you're coming from overseas let them get drafted let them do the summer league and let them do the normal you know what I'm saying NBA process to get ready for the new season for September cuz personally I I really don't know how the bubble is really going to work. I did see some videos by Chris Smoove and uh, um, ESPN on like the breakdown of how the bubble works and you know the security and the levels of what they do. But you have to understand, you know, are they going to test the Disney workers the same way they're going to test the NBA players? You know, five minutes of them getting in contact with somebody that might have it and you mess around you get like you know somebody like LeBron James COVID this is gonna be all for nothing because you basically just wasted it you know opposed to taking a better secure opportunity of trying to make sure their players are more you know what I'm saying have a better environment Right now, I, I just don't see this the way that it is. And I, I personally am living in the state of Florida. We have the highest cases, and most of the highest cases are right in central Florida, where they're going to be playing at. So it also scares me a lot more as well that they are deciding to do this in Florida. You know? And this is and the only real reason is because Florida was the first state to decide, you know, sports is considered an essential service. And they voted for that before any other state did. And that's the main reason why the NBA was like, okay, we're going to go to Florida because, you know, they've already voted it as an essential service. But guess what? The second they did that, Florida started opening up. People started to get more sick. The cases started to explode. It's, it's just, it's to the point where it's kind of out of control. You know, it's kind of out of control. That's kind of how I feel. I kind of feel like it's getting out of control. And we might have to go through another lockdown. They, the governor, I think it was earlier this week. And if you guys are watching this, you're probably going to be watching this sometime either in the late of July or it's going to probably be the beginning of August when you guys probably see this video because I do record my videos ahead of time I do queue them up on my YouTube so we already have a bunch of videos already queued up all the way to I think like the middle of July so you might not get this until the end of July but earlier before the 4th of July no right after the 4th of July weekend the governor actually basically said, hey, we're going to go ahead and claim a state of an emergency. And I was like, you should have did that weeks ago. Like, what was you thinking about? You know? So, that's just my personal opinion. I'm, I'm just one person. I'm not going to sit up here and say, I know it all. I don't. That's just my personal opinion. I'm just speaking my mind about what I think is going to happen. Because, I mean, let's, let's be real. All it takes is one superstar to get sick. One. James Harden. Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James. AD. Just one of them to get sick. And this is going to be done. Like, done, done. It ain't no, okay, we're just going to stop. We're not going to let that player play. No. The rest of the players are going to be like, if he can get sick, any of us can get sick. And we are all susceptible to possibly getting sick because we all are in the same environment. So, done. Done, done, done. And regardless of whatever measures the NBA feels or are, is trying to take to make sure that they are safe, like I said, it's one and done. That's all it takes. One superstar to get sick and then they're going to have to shut this down before the season ends. And if everybody is talking about, oh, we're doing it so that LeBron can get another ring. Rings are not important when it comes to people's health. I don't, I don't care. Uh, that's just, that's just honesty. You know, when it comes to people's health, championships is one thing. Passion is another. But you can't take the ring with you. You can't.
can't you can't take the ring with you man and you already got a bunch of them so stop crying you know what I'm saying create your own legacy stop trying to chase other people's you know what I'm saying because it, it just kind of feels like he he wants to chase Jordan's legacy of how many championships he has but you need to just not worry about that and worry about yourself about your own legacy that you're leaving behind he already has a great one there's no point in him trying to chase Jordan for that so all right guys I'm I'm gonna stop ranting I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the highlight video thank you guys again for checking out my highlights video for NBA 2k20 as you see we we, we balling out going crazy I'm just rambling on so I'm gonna let you guys go make sure you are following us on Twitter at Soulful Sites of Gaming as well don't forget check us out over on Twitter we do stream live over on our twitch channel and that is twitch.tv forward slash soulful sacks underscore gaming uh, hit the little bell notification so you guys do know when we do upload new content here on the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys later peace out people Baby